the Senate has passed their new economic stimulus. And, well, what's going on this time? You'll find out that it's uh, a lot like the last one. <laughs> so check this out. This is from Bloomberg. And I picked this article because there's something in particular I really want to point, point out. House set to pass, uh, and th this is from yesterday, so it, it has since uh, moved forward. So the Senate passes more aid for small businesses and hospitals. Okay, with the House poised to give final passage to the $484 uh, billion package uh, of new pandemic relief funds on Thursday, lawmakers in Trump administration are already turning their focus to the next round of stimulus. The legislation that the House will take up, which passed the Senate uh, yesterday, includes $320 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program. What was the Paycheck Protection Program? Okay, that was a loan program where apparently up to $10,000 of it is forgivable. They could just completely forgive that. You don't have to pay it back. Um, you know, there's some asterisks around that, but that's generally what it's supposed to do. And it's meant for small businesses, but small businesses can go up to 500 employees. So the banks ran out of money, allegedly, immediately. They opened up this program. It was impossible to get through. Most people couldn't get through. It was a huge hassle. Banks did not bother equipping themselves for it. They got trillions handed to them by the government. And essentially what happened in its barest essence, the government said, hey, here's trillions. We're going to give it to the banks. We're not going to give it directly to people. Screw them. You're going to get a $1,200, you know, screw you payment. But we're going to give trillions to the banks. We're going to count on them to disperse it. And uh, if they don't, by the way, no consequence. Are we good here? Okay, we're going on vacation. That's what Congress did. That's what your government did. And they did it with the help of Republicans and Democrats alike. They said, screw you. And so what they're doing now, they're well, they're going to give that more money. It ran out of money in a week last time. They're just going to give it more. And uh, here's what's happened. Both parties are looking for follow-up legislation that would be more comprehensive and costly. President Donald Trump, who met Tuesday with New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, the guy who might just be anointed candidate, who knows, said aid to state and local governments would be part of a so-called phase four stimulus, as with money for road projects and expanding broadband service. Trump says he'll ask bigger companies to return emergency loans. Um, oh, that's all right. So side note here. I watched a CBS Live press conference yesterday. Uh, because I like pain. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I'm a bit of a masochist because I watching a Trump press conference is the most ridiculous thing ever. Uh, it's like, you know what watching a press a Trump press conference is like, it's like you are watching a really bad improv sketch where the premise of a sketch is really terrible reporters ask a really terrible president pointless questions. That's what a Trump press conference is like. It is absolutely absurd. It is beyond obscene. And I, honestly, if you just had someone from another country who didn't know like who our president was, basically, who just didn't know anything about our politics, and you just had them watch it, and you were like, what do you think this is? I bet you 100% of them would say, well, this is a parody thing. This isn't, do you think this is actually a president? No, that's not actually the president. This is like a sketch. It's not all that funny, really, but this is like a sketch. Do you think those are actual reporters? No, no. Those aren't reporters. Their questions are insanely stupid. Th those aren't reporters. They don't even ask follow-ups, really. Those aren't reporters. And then you're like, brace for this. That's actually the president. Those are actually reporters. And they won't believe you. They'll be like, come on. Though. What is that, really? Is that guy an actor? Actually, he he was an actor. Like, like they'll, they'll Google and they'll be like, look, this guy was in Home Alone too. That's not the president. That's that's an actor. That's in a nope. Keep searching. Oh, wait, that's the president. That's what would happen. They're so ridiculous. So anyway, uh, Donald Trump uttered the words. He was he was talking about Harvard and he was saying how they needed to repay some of the loans. He feels like they should. And then he said the statement and I'm paraphrasing, of course, but he but he said something along the lines of, um, these, this stimulus is meant to help workers, not help the biggest businesses in, in, in the country. It's essentially what he said. So the reporter who asked him a follow-up question, instead of staying on that and being like, you just said this. So if you feel this way, can we count on 
you know, Ilhan Omar's bill that forgives rent, that that puts rent on hold and uh, freezes rent and freezes mortgages and actually reimburses some people for rent. Ilhan Omar has a bill out there that will actually give people their April rent back and suspend all rent and mortgage payments. And there's going to be a fund via HUD that makes sure that with all the mortgages suspended, uh, all landlords receive compensation for that. So that nobody nobody gets screwed over here. Renters get rent relief completely. Landlords um, still get compensated through the HUD, and mortgages are frozen as well. That's what's gonna. That's a proposal that Ilhan Omar has, and it would be that way for a year. There's another proposal out there that uh, has been penned by Ro Khanna and a few others. Um, I think I forget who else was on that, but Ro Khanna is one of them, and it would give everybody two thousand dollars a month. It would give an emergency UBI of $2,000 a month for the foreseeable future, potentially up to a year. So those proposals are out there. A great follow-up question for Donald Trump would have been, hey, man, since you say this is for the workers, are you for putting cash in their hands directly? Are you going to encourage Congress to make sure that these proposals that are out there to suspend rent, to give a UBI, that that's going to be in the next one? Is that your plan? But that wasn't the follow-up question Trump was asked. The follow-up question he was asked instead was the lamest gotcha attempt about his resorts in Florida. And it was a dumb question, and he gave a dumb answer. And it just goes, I mean, and that reporter doesn't care about doing news and journalism. That reporter doesn't care about informing anyone. That reporter just wanted to get a soundbite gotcha moment. And in their head, they thought they were doing their job. In their head... They thought like, ooh, I'm going to get the president. His resorts in Florida laid off people. And all President Trump did was deflect that and just blame the state of Florida because Donald Trump is also saying, we got to reopen the country. So it was an incredibly ridiculous back and forth, completely unnecessary and a waste of brain cells for anyone who had the displeasure of watching it. But they could have asked him to expand on the statement he just made. But they didn't. They didn't. Anyway, getting back to this article, Steve Mnuchin had something to say, and I don't care what it was because Steve Mnuchin is uh, awful. He's absolutely awful. Um, here's what I really wanted to. Uh, here's what I really wanted to point out. Uh, okay, so Senate Majority Mitch M Mitch McConnell said Congress should take measured steps with additional rescue measure measures. That's what they're saying. So this whole thing is basically uh, they're giving more money to the PPP program. So they're just giving more money to the banks intended for small businesses. And they also have some relief for hospitals and they have some relief um, for a few other entities as well. Uh, OK, so here, here's the here's the details here. The latest package provides three hundred twenty billion for the PPP. You know, that thing that they supposedly ran out of money after a week. We're going to just re replenish that. Uh, and it provides forgivable loans for businesses. Uh, it sets aside $30 billion of the PPP loan funds for banks and credit unions with $10 billion, $250 billion in accent, assets, and another $30 billion for even smaller institutions. So it's looking out for big banks and now small banks. Uh, Democrats push for that part. Uh, the measure includes $60 billion in loans and grants for a separate economic disaster loan program, so more loans, and makes farms and ranches el eligible for the loan. Also, there is $75 billion for hospitals. Okay, that's cool. And $25 billion for virus testing. So here's the part I want to point out, just, just in case you think, well, the Democrats really, you know, they pushed for all these extra things that weren't in. The original one was just a bunch of loans uh, for businesses. It was just replenishing the PPP. And, uh, you know, but they got some other stuff in there for hospitals. Uh, listen to what Mitch McConnell has to say. It's unfortunate that it took our Democratic colleagues 12 days to agree to a deal that contains essentially nothing that Republicans ever opposed. <laughs> that should be the headline. That should be the headline. Because Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, they're making it out like they really fought for something. And, and they got all these extra bells and whistles and, and they're trying to budge these Republicans. In reality, there's nothing in this new stimulus. That Republicans, probably with exception to Rand Paul, because he was against the whole thing, 
that anyone was really all that opposed to. Why? Well, because it's mostly just enough another giveaway to banks. That's mostly what it is. It does not put cash directly into the hands of the American people. It does not suspend rent. It does not suspend mortgage. It does none of those things. Instead, it replenishes a loan program that, man, the banks made off like bandits once again. And Democrats are looking out for small banks, too. That, that's the big thing. Democrats are looking out for small banks. So I'm curious to know. I mean, I, I, um, I do my banking with a, with a credit union. And uh, it's, a, it's a small credit union. So I'm curious to know if I'll be eligible for some type of PPP loan. I bet you they don't have any of it. I bet you they don't. Man. So that's the new stimulus bill, folks. <laughs> there you go. That should be the headline. That should be the headline. Yeah, Democrats are making it out like it's some huge victory. Really, Republicans and Democrats, we're fine with this. We're fine with this. Why? Because it keeps the donors happy and it keeps the banks happy. And here's another stimulus that leaves the people out in the cold while transferring wealth to the richest among us once again. They have weaponized a pandemic where people are dying to pad the pockets of the richest among us once again. And they have it set up so that we, the people, at best, get crumbs. This is by design. This is by design. And this isn't only not your government not working for you. This is your government working actively against you. And it's Republicans and Democrats. That's when they can really have bipartisanship, folks. We celebrate bipartisanship. Well, here's when bipartisanship happens. When Republicans have a bad idea and Democrats help them sell it. That's bipartisanship. And we're seeing it play here. They're making it out like they fought for all these great things. Really, Republicans were cool with all this. Republicans were cool with all this. Nothing's going directly to the workers. Nothing. All right. So there we go. Stoked for the next one, aren't you? Yay! Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make 